Good evening, Gary Smith, Andrew Dunlishan, and congratulations on a massive three points uh, here at Royston Town. Uh, is that as tough as it gets? Um, yeah, we knew. We knew, looking at uh, what Royston have done since the beginning of this season, that coming here today was going to be a battle. Um, obviously, we've done our homework and we've we've, we've uh, evaluated everything they've done. Um, and Andy's gone about his job um, trying to nullify that and I think today um, we've done that. Uh, there's not many teams that are going to come to Royston and win. They're a big physical side um, and they put themselves about and we, we realise that. Um, and we knew that uh, we were in for a battle today, um, a very tough one, but it's one that the boys have uh, come out on top with again, so we're uh, absolutely delighted. Andrew, we were made to fight for every single ball today uh, by a very determined Royston side, I think it's fair to say. And it was a game that was very much on the edge, but fortunately we came out on top. Yeah, I think, as I said, it, um, they're like the land of the Giants. They must have five or six lads above six foot two, six foot three, and they're big lads as well. Um, if you, anyone who's coming to Royston, the message I'd give them is make sure you're tactically ready for the game and also make sure you know how to defend your box because um, from set pieces and free kicks, corners, throw-ins, they make you defend. Um, they're physical and big. Um, and, but what I'm, what I'm pleased with is, yes, we had a plan, but the players have to go out and, and do that plan. They're the ones who do it. Um, and today I thought to a man, um, apart from a couple of five or ten minute period that there was excellent to a man in carrying that out and um, today was more about grit, determination um, and another side of Tamworth Football Club not the one who could just play football and get it down and pass it but can you come away from home and, and battle and they did that in abundance I think this will be one of the hardest places to come um, away from home because of the style of football that they do um, and, and the physicality that they've got in their team so I'm, I'm tremendously happy for the lads Gary, that's, I make that seven wins in a row. <laughs> One defeat in ten, an absolutely amazing run of results. Um, I'm sure you were confident of, that that could occur at the start of the season. Took a little bit of time to get going. But the confidence is really coming through in the players now and you can see it in their performances. Yeah, um, you know, winning breeds, winning obviously breeds confidence, doesn't it? And, uh, you know, the more games we win, uh, the more confident these players are going to be that they can go out against any side and, and, and get a result um, and you could see the confidence in the way we played today even though at one stage they came back into the game a little bit after they equalised um, but you could see the professionalism and the confidence oozing through the boys and they went out and done a fantastic job today um, like Andy said I don't think many teams are going to come to Royston and pick up three points it's a difficult place to come but um, we went out today and we done a good job on them today. Andrew, uh, two cup games now in the next few days, Tuesday and Saturday. Perhaps Tuesdays versus Colville in the League Challenge Cup carries slightly less significance, but nonetheless, it's an opportunity for some of the fringe players to get some more minutes. Yeah, I think when sort of we were recruiting in sort of pre-season, we obviously and we want to be fighting sort of on all fronts, if you like, and competing on all fronts. Um, it will be uh, you know, something that we have to think about, about using our old squad. But um, Gaz has mentioned this before, but I'm happy with the, the 18, 19, 20 players that we've got in terms of all of them. They're all quality players. So when they come in, like Barwell, for example, when they come down to our ground in the League Cup, um, the lads put on a good performance and we made eight changes that night. So even though we might have to rotate and make changes, um, you take one out and you put one in and they're as good as each other that group are in there so um, I'm, I'm happy to, to do that and give players a chance who are on the fringes and some younger lads as well in our academy are doing really well at the moment um, to give them an opportunity to stake a claim um, so we're looking forward to both games both cup games um, and we'll just take one game at a time so the next one is Colvin and we'll prepare for that thoroughly OK chaps once again congratulations on a hard earned three points enjoy the points and the trip back home and we'll catch up with you again soon Cheers thank, thank you, you.